I'm coming to you from my hotel room in Japan today, so unfortunately I don't have any little Archie with me. I know, the channel motto is the bird stays and I can't even stick to it. He wasn't allowed to come with me unfortunately, but I do have something exciting that'll hopefully distract you from the fact that there's no green bird on my shoulder. So today's video is a huge shoe haul and these shoes are so cool. So the brand we're looking at today is LaModa. If you haven't heard of them, LaModa is a UK brand and their shoes are kind of a little bit out there, but there is a shoe for everyone on their site. I have a huge box back here behind me that they have sent to me here in Japan. So if you stay tuned in today's video, I'm gonna be wearing some of these shoes out and about in Tokyo and I'll show you a little bit of uh, what I like to get up to while I'm in Japan. So let me show you. <laughs> I've only opened one of these boxes so far because I was so keen and I just had to get in and have a look at them and I was uh, very happy with what I saw. Just, just to get you guys excited for this video, this is the first shoe. Are you seeing this? <laughs> look how cool this is! Look at this massive chunky heel and this huge platform on it too. These are kind of like a, a velvety material. They're really, really soft. I did try it on because I couldn't help myself and they are so comfortable. Before we jump into the rest of the video, let me tell you a little bit more about LaModa because not only did they give me these shoes for free, they are also sponsoring today's video. So I'd just like to tell you a little bit about them before we jump into the try on. So LaModa makes vegan friendly, highly, highly Instagrammable shoes. A lot of them are chunky heeled. They're kind of edgy. There's a bunch of platforms Form shoes on their site and they are so comfortable and they are incredible quality. The Cyber Monday sales are here so use the code 10more and pick up your favorites from today's video if you like and with that let's have a look at all these shoes. Okay so first up we have the Adore You Red Leopard Extreme Platform Ankle Boots. So these retail for £45 so I normally like to speak in US dollars but we're working with Great British Pounds today so what I'm probably gonna have to do is put on the screen I think I'll I'll put US dollars, pounds and Australian dollars because that's the majority of my audience. I'm sorry if you're not included. <laughs> so these shoes are super sturdy. They feel exceptionally well made. I'm actually really, really surprised that these are only $85. Picking these up, you know, I didn't pay for these, I was given them for free. Picking them up, I was thinking that these were probably about $150 shoes, I would say. I have bought shoes like this in the past with these beautiful big platform heels and everything, and they do cost a fair bit, so $85 Australian seems very, very reasonable for these. These have a really nice gold detail on this zip just here. They zip all the way down so it's easy to get in and out of them. On the inside they're black and this is the base of them. I'm really interested to go out and about in Tokyo wearing these because it doesn't look like a huge amount of grip on this base here. So let's see if I can navigate the streets of Tokyo wearing these boots. <laughs> I completely forgot to mention at the start of the video that this is an episode of Yuweebi, which is You Wanted It, I Bought It. So I went on Twitter and Instagram and I told everyone that I was making this video for Lamoda and the shoes that I'm going to be showing you today are the most highly requested shoes that people sent across to me. So it was pretty difficult because there were a lot of styles that people asked for, but there was about five or six very, very clear winners in this video that so many people sent across and these were one of them. These also came in other colors, I believe too, but this red pair, these were the ones a lot of people were asking me to try these. Obviously this is a little bit out of my comfort zone because I tend to wear pastel colors and I don't really ever wear red or black or anything like that. So I think I'm gonna have to head to maybe Harajuku and buy some clothes that I can wear and you guys can see me style these boots because I'm feeling a little lost. I love them, but I just, I don't even know where to start. I'm thinking I'll probably have to wear something black with these, but we will see soon. <laughs> okay, next up we have something black. Ah yes, now, black chunky boots. There are a lot of these on LaModa. Heaps and heaps of people were asking me to review these. There were several other styles a little bit similar to these that people wanted me to review. So I kind of had to go and have a look at the most popular ones and then pick which one that I thought. And I picked out these because what I love most about them is this O-ring with the chains. 
I think that is so cool and I really really like this massive chunky heel here. I really like these big bold details across here. Now these, oh dear, these don't zip up. Oh, I hate shoelaces, that's okay. So I'll have to unlace these to get into them. But these look like they're gonna be very, very comfortable. These are called the Playing Up Super Chunky Lace Up Boots and these are 60 pounds. So 60 pounds would probably be 114 Australian dollars. Now to me that does seem like it's a little bit on the pricier end compared to those other boots that I just showed you because these, these were only about 85 Australian dollars. And to me, these hold a lot more value to me because because these are so massive you know the heel is so big and the platform is so big but that being said these do feel really really durable I love this wow look at this base this is like teeth here on the bottom so these unlike the others they didn't look like they had any grip but these look like they have some bite to them so for someone that gets a lot of shoes for free I may be a little bit detached you know I, I get so much stuff given to me on YouTube so maybe $114 is a very very reasonable price for these awesome chunky cargo cargo boots would you call them that military boots <laughs> i guess when i think about it i did pay like 200 and something dollars my docks and i don't think that those look as cool as these these are 77 us dollars so let me know what you guys think about that price in the comments below but if you think that's a little bit on the pricier end don't forget to jump on that sale with the extra 10% off. I feel like they're gonna come down to a very affordable price. So for these, I think I already know what outfit that I'm gonna pair these with. I might even wear these out to Harajuku because I'm gonna be getting on trains and running around. I'm staying about 10, 15 minutes from Harajuku and I've gotta change trains twice and there's a lot of stairs. So I think that I will wear these because these look like they're gonna be very, very comfortable and very easy to move about in. And then when I come back and I'm going to have lunch and all that sort of stuff, then I can get into some of the crazy high heels. I just can't get over this amazing chain. I think the chain is so cool. And I just love this base too. I love that it's like massive teeth like sharks. Okay, next up. I like that this is a purple box. There's a mix of black and purple boxes. I, I really, look, it's the same as my shirt. Okay, these were without a doubt the most popular shoes. Out of all the shoes that people asked me to show in this video, these were the ones that I got the most of. These are called the Moonwalk Wedge Footbed Sandal. They are 45 pounds. So like the first pair, these are 85 Australian dollars. These are so cool. I love this massive, massive, massive platform. These are going to make me so tall and if I wear these around my husband, I'm definitely going to be taller than him and he will not be happy. They've been squashed a little bit in the box. So hopefully once I put these on and wear them a little bit, that's going to readjust to the right shape. There's a bit of grip on these, which looks good. And I love that they're flat because it'll give me some height, but they should be very, very comfortable. At least I hope so. I really like gaining the height without having to suffer the pain of high heels. So I think this is a pretty straightforward styling session here. It's pink. I'm thinking, hear me out here, I might wear something pink, maybe. Here they are together. I think from the top, they look very, very elegant. I really like the shape of them. And then from the side, it's kind of like not exactly what you're expecting. The base of them is black. Oh, and here as well. Here is black too. So there's two black parts that are visible. It didn't really occur to me that this bit here was going to be visible. I was thinking to myself, ah, oh, yes, it's just the black sole, but you won't see it. But yes, you can very, very clearly see it from the side. So obviously someone like me that loves pastel things, I probably would prefer if the whole thing was pink, but these were the most popular shoes the most people sent me these on Twitter and Instagram so obviously you guys are loving them I'll put these ones on again and head out in Tokyo although you know what there are so many shoes here and I don't have enough days left on my trip to be able to uh, wear every single one of them on this holiday so I think I'll pick out the favorites so definitely for me, those first two, I definitely want to wear those. We do have some other pink ones coming up in a second though. So I will see which ones I will wear. I wish this was live and then you guys could scream at me in the comments which ones you wanted me to wear. <laughs> okay, next. I predicted it. I spoke it into reality. These are the next pink shoes. I'm glad that these made it. See, I ordered 10 pairs of shoes. Seven were able to arrive to me here in Japan. And I was worried that some of the most popular ones wouldn't turn up. These were again among the most popular. 
So these, to me, I was almost wondering if it was worth me grabbing these as well as these because they are kind of similar. But now that I have them here in front of me, I think that there's a significant enough difference to warrant me showing you both of these shoes. Personally, I like these better. I like the shape of them. I think that they're elegant, but edgy at the same time, if that makes any sense at all. I love this giant, giant, chunky strap that they have just here. These look like they're gonna be very, very comfortable. These are called the Dark Love Pink Buckle Chunky Cleated Sole Sandals. And it's showing as 24 pounds on the website for me right now, down from 40 pounds. That's amazing. These are definitely worth that. Worth, worth the full price. If you get these on sale, 110% worth it. They look stunning and they feel very, very well made as well. These seem like they are very, very high quality shoes. Now, obviously I haven't worn any of these yet, hence why I'm going to be heading out and about and putting some of these to the test. But I think that these are in the lead for some of the shoes that I will have to wear around Tokyo because they're amazing. I love that they're casual, but also these could be dressy at the same time. They're cute and kawaii, but they're also edgy, if that makes sense at all. So these, very, very happy. Here they are together, and I just noticed on the back there is a little stripe detail running up the spine of the shoe there. I feel like the longer that I look at these shoes, the more I notice about them. You know, like every time I pick up a pair of these shoes, I see something that I didn't see before, like these. These have a really, really nice buckle detail here. They've got five little adjustable holes in them there, so these should fit a wide range of ankles. So there's these two stripes on the back here, and on the front with the buckle you've got one, two, three, four, five, there's five adjustable little buckle holes here. So depending on the width of your feet, I suppose, or the height of the arch of your foot, potentially, you've got a fair bit of room here to work with, or even if you want to wear socks or whatever, you can adjust these. And the buckle is really, really beautiful too. I really like that it's not a silver buckle. It's actually got the same material of the shoe on here, on the buckle itself. So that looks really nice. It's finished really nicely. There were two shoes that were somewhat similar and I was toying up whether or not I should only get one, but I put an Instagram poll up and it was basically 50-50. People wanted to see both. So here's the first pair. These are strappy heels that have this really cool pink and purple flame detail running up the heel. These are called the Blow Your Mind Faux Suede Flame Detail Lace Up Platform Heels in White. Now, the one thing that I'm not so certain about with these shoes, and the reason that I wouldn't have picked them, but everyone wanted me to show these, but I wouldn't have picked them because I'm not the biggest fan of huge lace up things that go up your ankles because I can just I can never get it to lace up nicely. I can't do the bow nicely or it falls down or it doesn't look right. So I'm a little bit nervous to see how I manage to get into these and whether I can make them look nice with that sort of lace up detail. I'm obsessed with this pink and purple flame. I think it's so pretty, it's so very me. These are 40 pounds, which seems pretty good to me for such tall, beautiful high heels. Here they are together. They don't look so, you know, exciting right now because this is all sort of hanging down here. Let me see how long this strap is. Okay, wow, that's a very, very decent length. Yeah, they, they don't seem to come up that high in the picture, but I feel like these could come up pretty high on my ankles. So let's see how I go getting into these. These could be a good contender for heading out in Tokyo because I have a lot of clothes here with me that I could easily style these with, but Again, in terms of comfort, because I'm going to be running around on trains, I'm a little bit concerned, but let's see. Okay, so these are a little tiny bit confusing for me because I want to be able to do them up in a bow, but I also want them to come up quite high. So the problem is when you bring them up high, you only have about that much material left. And if I try to tie this material in a bow, there's not quite enough to work with, if that makes sense. Like. Oh, maybe just, hang on, hang on. Uh, ouch, this is hurting my fingers. Okay, cut, kind of, not really, but kind of. So uh, I wonder if you see what I mean. I mean, I guess I could always just do it up down to, you know, like here, which gives me a bit more material to work with, and then I could do the bow up in the front, like this. The thing is you need more material to be able to do the bow, you know, to be able to loop it. But also because this is quite stiff fabric, it's a little bit difficult to tie a bow. I'm really struggling. Okay, cut, yeah, kind of, kind of, but not really. So I think all in all, these look really, really pretty. They are beautiful and I, I love the flame on the heel and everything and I really like the shape of them. Uh, but I just, I 
kind of struggle with this material to be able to do up a bow. Okay, next up, what have we got here? Ah, haha. <laughs> Okay, this is what I was talking about. So those shoes that I just showed you are kind of similar to these, but I like these a lot more. So these are big white lace up chunky boots and these have the flame detail running down the side here. Obviously these ones are strappy and these ones are boots. And I feel like for me, the boots are going to be much more comfortable. So I think that I will probably head out in these at some point. These have a zipper here with a silver detail running down the side and on the inside, they are kind of like a beigey color. The laces are thin laces and it looks like they lace all the way up here. I'm glad that there is a zip because then that means you can get the laces done so that they look nice and then you never have to touch them again. And then you can just use the zip to get in and out of them. I really appreciate that. I do wish that these black boots had a zip on them. I guess you don't really need it though because this is, you know, this isn't very tall. Whereas on these ones, this is this is quite tall coming up here. These were, again, some of the most highly requested. These are called the Hustler White Flame Platform Boots. These are 43 pounds, which I think is fantastic. These are so beautiful. These are similar price to these though. And I do think, personally, I think these are more worth it because these are, they're just, they're so tall and they're so epic and they're velvet. But anyway, these still, I still think that these are worth it though. Looking at them from the back, they look so cool with that flame detail. And then on the bottom, these have excellent tread to them. These almost, this is like what you get on uh, sneakers or like hiking boots or something. I feel, I think that walking around in Tokyo, I would feel a lot more confident and steady on my feet wearing these than some of the others that are a little bit more flat on the base. These are definitely going to be on the list of things to wear while I'm here. So these, these are the Wild Love Biker Style Long Boots. They're 70 pounds. Are you ready for this? I would not have chosen these myself, but so many of you guys ask me to and I don't know if you ask me to choose these because you genuinely like them or maybe because you just wanted to see me struggle to style them. These are really, really cool. These feel amazing. This is suede here, like a faux suede, and then it changes into an actual like furry texture here. Running your fingers down here, it's like quite a coarse furry texture. The bottom has a very, it's got a very interesting base to it. It's kind of like this mottled effect, and that's a huge platform on these. All I can think of is, you know that music video with, with the girl that's dressed as the cow and she's saying moo or something? That's, that's all I can think of with these. These are so unusual. I have no idea how I'm going to style these whatsoever. I, I really have no idea, but I feel like I have to wear these somewhere, right? If I'm going to get away with wearing shoes like this anywhere, it's going to be in Japan. Can I get away with wearing these? Well, I guess that's what you guys are here to find out, right? So the chain looks like it hangs down the back like that. They look like they're very tall. I think that these are going to be a Above the knee. These make me nervous. I don't know how I'm gonna style them. I'm nervous to see what I look like wearing them. I hope that people don't stare, but they probably will. But hey, shoes like these are made for Instagram and when you're posting pictures on Instagram of your crazy outfits, you want people to stare, right? So these are 70 pounds, which is gonna be probably 130 Australian dollars. Thinking, computing. I bought a pair of thigh high boots for $200 couple of years ago and they were plain black and I paid $200 for them and I don't wear them because they're very very uncomfortable because the heel is very very skinny it's like a stiletto heel I actually think that sort of price for these is completely reasonable look at the size of this heel these feel really heavy and very well constructed I love this big chunky platform on here as well interested to see how this grip goes while I'm running around here but oh I even noticed look at this even here on this zip too, there's uh, like studded detailing on this zip as well. So to me, I think that that's completely reasonable. They seem like they're excellent quality boots. So that's all of them. That's everything. I don't have very much time to film myself wearing these out and about. So I'm going to try and film as many of them as I can. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking these, of course, because these are really, really cool. I think these, I think I have to, I think these. I think I'm going to wear them because these are going to be super comfortable for while I'm running around here. And if I have time, I will film these as well, these flame heels. 
let's see how I go guys. I'm running out of time before I go back to Australia. So stay tuned to see how I style some of these shoes and also to see a day in my life in Tokyo. <laughs> okay, I am changed. I'm ready to head out this morning. So I'm wearing a white turtleneck with a blue skirt and I've got on the white boots. I actually think, now I, I'm not sold on this look. I'm a little bit concerned that because the skirt is kind of like sweet and cutesy with the bow that it might clash a little bit with the shoes but I'm working with what I brought with me in my suitcase so I'll give you a full length shot of what I look like. Wow, okay, that was quite a walk. So from our hotel down here, this is near Akasaka Mitsuke Station, there's an amazing diner here called Joyful. It's 24 hours, they have a drink bar, their food is super, super cheap. It is about a 10 or so minute walk from our hotel though. So as you saw, that, that was a bit of a walk. It was all very flat though. I didn't have to go uphill or anything like that. It was at the halfway mark that my feet started to kind of hurt, especially my left foot. That may be because I haven't worn high heels for such a long walking distance in a very long time. But overall, they're extremely comfortable. I didn't slip, it's raining, the ground was wet, didn't have any slips or trips or anything like that. So feeling really, really good. So we're gonna grab some lunch now and then we'll head back and I'll try out the next pair of shoes. Okay, I'm back from lunch and I've had a quick wardrobe change. So I've got a t-shirt, long sleeve stripy shirt, black jeans with a belt, and of course, the black boots uh, with some little strawberry socks underneath. But these boots, oh my God, look, I didn't even notice on the back. They have this design back here. It's almost like a, look at that. It's like, like a cow hoof kind of. I don't know how I feel about that. Like it's kind of cool. It's on both sides. It's, uh, it's definitely interesting. I'll say that. But uh, they look so cool. I absolutely love them. I'm gonna head out to Harajuku now and I'm going to try and pick up an outfit to maybe match those crazy leopard print boots. The tall ones and the shorter ones too. <laughs> We are going to Harajuku. If you're staying on the Tokyo Metro instead of a JR, just go to the Meiji Jingu station. It's exactly the same as Harajuku. It's just the Metro and not the JR. I normally go to Koenji, which is a town out west, 
for thrift shopping because they have a lot of great stores but if you're just staying in central Tokyo and you're hitting up Harajuku you have to come here this place is absolutely huge it has a massive selection of vintage sweaters they have overalls they've got jeans they have everything you could ever want so I'm just looking for a sweater basically because I'm freezing cold I wore this outfit to match the shoes and speaking of the shoes they did very well uh, they are definitely incredibly comfortable I will say that super easy to navigate the station super easy to get on trains they were getting some funny looks from people I saw a couple of people when we were at the pedestrian crossing some people were taking pictures of them so I'm not sure if they liked them or if they were laughing at them because you know what I said the back kind of looks like hooves you know like Satan's hooves but aside from that I'm really really happy these are so cozy I'm gonna get so much wear out of these they are my favorite I think from the video because they're flat and they're comfortable and they're really really cool and they're stylish so that's that's it let's head inside and see what I can find <laughs> What do you think of the sweater? It's vintage uh, from the Disney store and it's Winnie the Pooh. And I know it doesn't quite match the shoes, but I couldn't resist because it was only $15. <laughs> Oh my god guys, so I thrifted this skirt in the hopes that I could pair it with the boots that have the leopard print but it's, oh it, it's it's just, it's too much. I think that's, oh dear, <laughs> that's way too much. Also it kind of irks me that this isn't exactly the same. This is very very white and this has a lot of grey. Um, yeah, I, I kind of, I wanted to pull off this look with the cardigan and a turtleneck skirt and the boots, but I think it's, it's just, maybe not. Okay, is this better? What do we think? I think this is a little bit better. I, I still don't love it, but like I said, I'm working with what I've got. So I got the skirt in a thrift store, cardigans from a thrift store, turtleneck is something that I brought with me, and obviously the shoes are from Lamoda. I'm just dying to wear these shoes out. I just love them so much. I, I think this is okay because leopard print, leopard print, red, red. Or is it too much? If it's too much, that's okay because I'm in Japan and this place openly embraces too much when it comes to fashion. So I think that this is gonna be the fit of the morning. <laughs> Greetings. I have had a sudden change of heart. I've changed my outfit because I just wasn't feeling it. Not that I wasn't liking the shoes and not that I wasn't liking the outfit in general, but I thought of a better one. <laughs> so, okay, what do we think? I have the pink shoes with this skirt that I thrifted, this cardigan that I thrifted, and the same turtleneck. And my hair's in a little Ariana Grande ponytail. I feel like perhaps I need some socks. Okay, what do you think? Do you, does it look better with socks? Uh, I haven't even looked in the mirror. I just, I just, I snapped my fingers like that and it happened and I haven't had a chance to look in the mirror, so wait. Okay, I, I think it's okay. I think it's cute. These shoes are some of my favorites. They're so comfy. I feel like I'm gonna have a lot better luck wandering around Tokyo today wearing these than I would wearing those really big high heels. I think when I get back to Australia, I'm gonna have to have another try at styling those heels when I've got my full wardrobe with me because I just, I'm not sure how to style them right now, but I'm, I'm really feeling this outfit. So on with the day. Okay, 
Okay guys, so today I'm going to be showing you a couple of my favourite gyudon chains in Tokyo. Well, these are all over Japan actually. So the first one is Yoshinoya. This is the oldest gyudon chain in Japan. If you don't know what gyudon is, it's essentially beef on rice. And they do different sized bowls and different sets. It's absolutely delicious and it's basically Japanese fast food. The meat is pre-cooked, so when you order it, they just slap the meat on top of the rice and you get it straight away. So Yoshinoya has 1,184 stores in Japan. They're absolutely everywhere, so you can always get a good meal no matter where you are. A standard gyudon bowl from Yoshinoya is about 380 yen, so in US dollars, that's not even $4, and in Australian dollars, it's about 6 So it's definitely worth it, and it's a very, very filling meal. Matsuya. Now Matsuya is not written in English, the sign is written in Japanese, so it can be a little bit hard to find if you're a foreigner, but if you look for the yellow and blue and a bit of orange too, then you should be able to find it. Now Matsuya uses a vending machine system to order, so when you go in you don't actually place your order with the staff, you go up to the vending machine, you pick what you want, there are little pictures of the food but it's all written in Japanese so it can be a little bit harder to order, but because they don't have staff here to take your order, it brings the price down a little bit. So it's only 290 yen for a, a rice bowl with meat on top, so it's 100 yen cheaper than uh, Yoshinoya. Now this place and Yoshinoya are mostly catered towards people dining alone. They have a long bar kind of seating area. It's not really for groups, but I'm about to show you one called Sukiya, which is a newer chain and that caters more towards groups. Matsuya has 961 stores nationally. This one has the least out of the three I'm showing you, but still you can find a Matsuya almost everywhere that you go. Okay, so last of all is Sukiya. Now Sukiya is the newest of all of these chains I've showed you. This one is definitely the most interesting. They've got really interesting gyudon, like they've got one with cheese on top. They offer all sorts of toppings that are a bit of a, a twist on the original gyudon bowl. Sukiya has 1,982 stores across Japan, so it's definitely the biggest. I see this everywhere that I go. It's very popular. They tailor towards groups because they have actual tables and booths rather than just bar seating. A standard size bowl here is 350 yen so it's definitely worth it and I love it here I love the meat here so we're gonna go in here for lunch <laughs> Okay guys, I did it. I decided I am going to wear the giant boots because I feel like you wouldn't forgive me if I didn't. So, I have this thrifted jacket on, big fuzzy thrifted jacket. I have the skirt, the leopard print skirt, and of course, the boots. The one and only, the giant tall leopard zebra with a chain and a cool zip boots. So, uh, I am going to Kamakura today wearing this, which is going to be unusual because Kamakura is kind of like a traditional place. There's going to be a lot of tourists there and uh, people will probably look at me funny, but I I'm doing this for you guys, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs>
Kamakura. So I decided to wear... Actually, I don't mind them. So my main concern was I was taking a very, very big risk coming all the way to Kamakura, which is about an hour outside of Tokyo. It's a big risk wearing shoes you've never worn before, uh, you know, on the off chance that they might be comfortable, but they're more likely going to be uncomfortable and you're stuck an hour from your hotel wearing these shoes, but they're totally fine. I've been wearing these for hours and hours and hours, even though they've got such a massive heel on them. The incline is not actually that steep, so it means that they're really, really comfortable. Uh, I, I wore the leopard print skirt. I have this thrifted jacket, so it's, it's cold, but it's not insanely cold. It's just a little bit chilly, but I feel okay. I have had some funny looks, but that's to be expected. But surprisingly, not that many people have been staring. I feel like if I was wearing this in Australia, I'd probably get a lot more weird comments than what I would here in Japan. I think in Japan, they're relatively used to quirky fashion choices. So anyway, we're just having a little look around. I'm very happy that I wore these today because out of all the shoes, I think aside from the flat ones, they're probably the most comfortable and they're warm because they come over the knees, which is great because it's only 10 degrees Celsius here. So I'm a little tiny bit cold, but the boots are keeping me warm. So that's it for our Kamakura day and uh, we're leaving tomorrow. Oh my God, we're leaving tomorrow. So yeah, that, that's it for the, the test. <laughs> guys so that's it that's everything thank you so much to Lamoda for sponsoring today's video and for the epic shoes I absolutely love them I think the highlight of my time was probably the white boots with the pink flames because that's definitely my style but I would say those pink flat shoes were also extremely comfortable and overall I think I'm gonna get so much wear out of these so I hope you enjoyed this little bit of a, a trip around Japan around Tokyo and Kamakura and uh, don't forget to subscribe Hit the notification bell, give us a thumbs up if you liked this video. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mwah.